did mine on uh, like a stop the bus program, which the grade school students have. But I noticed that high school and junior high students weren't getting these services. They don't get the chance for free or reduced school supplies. And um, so I did this for Christian County, which is where I'm from. And so I wondered if there would be a way that we could do this for our county because um, the students still have needs, even though they're no longer at the grade school level. Okay, for the literature review I did, um, I found some information on about Christian County from kidscount.org, and I found out that about 25% of the students in Christian County come from families that receive food stamps, which is one-fourth, obviously, uh, and that 13% of the people in Christian County also use food stamps. A single... Uh, a married family makes about 34000 a year, I believe it was, whereas a single mother, as you can see, only makes about 14000 and a single father makes about 20000 I believe, close to that, <coughs> a bit more than the single mother. But um, I was, I also checked out other stuff, the bus or stuff, or back to school programs, and the one, one in Ohio that I found was able to give 200 needy kids fully supplied backpacks for the 2010 school year. And there are some stuff, the bus programs, that if they have extra supplies left over, they will give them to the high school students if they need them. They, but they can't provide everything. Um, the, IU, the I conducted my research using a survey also from eSurveyPro.com, and I put a link to it through my school's website, high school website that I went to, and then my mom works there. And so, oh, so, just what happened with me? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, my I was able to talk to the superintendent and the mom and my mom's teacher there, and they put out an all call, which called all of the students' parents at one time, so everyone knew about it, and I had the parents answer the questions, um, and the. the variables I used for this were how much money the family earns, subjective poverty and absolute poverty, and occupation, how many jobs they have, and if their student holds their own after school job. That's one of the things that I asked. The findings were that about 71% of respondents worked over 40 hours a week, which is quite a bit to be working. Um, I had 86% identified calculators as the most expensive after school item for their high school students. I asked them, I had a list of school supplies, and asked them to pick which ones they thought were the most expensive. I had backpacks, books, calculators, pens, pencils, binders, your basic school supplies. And then I looked at other, and I did get one person who checked other, and they said their fees for school, which was something I didn't think about, but figured I needed to leave something for them to put in the other box. So um, about 71% of the people stated that they would use a program like this. If it were available, I had two people say that they might or might not use a program like this. Um, and then I had expected more families from the area to be on food stamps or um, school lunch as a source of income support, but they, I only had two people who said they were on food stamps and only two people, I believe it was the same two people that said they were on the free or reduced lunch program. But one of the people that was on both and was a single mother and spent very little on her kids was one of the people that said they might not, they might or might not use this program if it were available. And then uh, discussions and limitations. I found that uh, the survey would implicated that a program like this would be useful for the students in Christian County. It would be something that they could use or support. But um, the sample size, which I only got about seven people to respond to me, was smaller than what I had hoped it would be. But I also only gave them about five days. So um, a longer time to do this would be better if I were to do this again. But uh, another one is that um, the people that didn't answer the survey, the people that really needed to or that were probably on the food stamps and everything, didn't answer the survey. But I was told that from the start with the superintendent. She told me that was going to happen. And so that's what we expected. Um, 
Another one is to try and get the superintendent to get people from the school to show a little bit more support for the instrument and for me because I did get it, get them to help me out, but I was told that it might not happen, that they might just say no. But it also helps, like I said, when your mom's a super, or a superintendent at the school. Uh, resource teacher. When your mom works there, you have a leg in the door. Yes. But um, one of the things that I did find was that everyone said calculators were the most expensive item, which is unique for the high school and junior high students because grade school students, you know, you do one plus one is two and that type of thing. You don't need the high-tech scientific calculators. My sister took, had a calculator she had to have. It was $100 for this calculator. That's pretty expensive, especially when you consider that all the other things you have to have, and how many kids. So, like I said, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I figured out was that we need cheaper school supplies. Yes. Any questions? Okay. Do you think that po poverty level was one of the reasons why they couldn't answer, since you only put it on the link for them to be able to answer? I mean, if they didn't have internet, they wouldn't be able to go answer it? I, I did not think of that, but I did notice because er, eSurvey Pro will tell you where your um, address, what URL or, e, or address it was. I had, I think I only had four different IP addresses. So four people answered from the same one. And so I think somebody, somebody either used the school or possibly a library public computer to answer. But yeah, that could be one. Of the of the two surveys, of the phone survey and then the internet survey, it was all one. The phone was just oh. a, a way to get it out to everybody because not everyone would check the computer. It was just, hey, you know, there's a survey going on. This is how you get to it. This is what it's for, and we would appreciate it if you would please answer it. And this is why you should answer it. Type of thing was what it was. Uh oh. But what was your question? Um, I was just going to ask if there were the two different surveys on whether which one was more beneficial, the phone survey or the internet survey. If we had done it either way. Yeah. Um, I believe my mom, I said my mom's one of the teachers there. She said, I think she had a couple people <coughs> that if they had wanted to do it via the phone, she would have helped them out. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that way. But I don't know if either one of them would have been more beneficial. <coughs> but I think that doing it this way worked because. That way they know absolutely, because my town that I did this in, more school is very, very small. Mm -hmm. I would know most people and they know me. And so this way, all they are, and they knew this going into it, all they are is a number. I have no idea who anyone is. Right. And so it keeps things more confidential mm -hmm. that way. Since you had people who responded that they might or might not even use a program like this, what's your what do you think might be the reasons why somebody would not want to use a program like this? I, I said the one that needed it the most was the one that was said maybe with and with her. Like she, like she said, I already know that she's on two. Like I said, there, I already know that she's on two types of supplemental income, and so there she might be one of those people that thinks that the more help that she receives, the more things that people know she uses, the more poor, more poverty she looks, and it's a pride issue. And then the other one, I believe, was actually the person that made the most money out of everyone, which wasn't that much. But it's kind of a, I might use this, I might not. I don't technically need to, but if there's a way I can save a few nickels and dimes, I'll take it, type of thing. The pride issue and also a, it's not really a necessity, but I can, I want to. Very good.